Shady Gang, what's good? Welcome back to another show with August with the Shade. Go ahead and get your cups because you know we about to spill some tea and you know I'm about to throw some major shade, okay? This video is going to be about Nicki Minaj not attending the Met Gala. Also, Iggy Azalea is out here cloud chasing and we're going to talk about the baby, okay? So let's get into it. Y'all know how Nicki Minaj does when she doesn't really want to, you know, really attend any type of industry event with people that she doesn't really mess with. Now, I heard from the grapevine that her and um, Anna Wintour is not really seeing eye to eye, so I wouldn't want Nicki Minaj to be in a place that she's not wanted, number one. Number two, Nicki Minaj is always uh, publicly scrutinized for anything that she does. If Nicki Minaj literally goes and finds the best dress with the best wig, listen, they're going to find something wrong with it. And nobody likes public scrutiny for nothing. And Nicki Minaj, you know, she has been finding a way to stay away from that type of stuff. Nicki Minaj is a solidified celebrity. She's a solidified legend. She does not need to go to Met Gala to get any kind of look. Do you understand what I'm saying? If she does not enjoy being around certain industry folks, then I don't think Nicki Minaj should go. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's for a look or not. If y'all feel like the, if the queen is going to be uncomfortable every time she's there why do y'all want her to go to that event she can have an event in her backyard you understand what i'm saying there's no need for Nicki minaj to go to the met gala Nicki can also post on her wall as uh, like her instagram as well as her twitter a beautiful dress that she might have wanted to wear and i can promise you it would get the same amount of likes and views that it would have gotten if she would have went to the red carpet at the met gala so y'all stay off my girl if she goes then she goes if she doesn't then she doesn't let's just enjoy the music guys you know let's go ahead and jump into the next topic now the next topic is iggy azalea now iggy azalea to me is is just one of those white girls that, you know, went and got her body done and got it done okay, okay? But ever since uh, Iggy Azalea has been aging a little bit, she is now 31, I feel like her body is kind of sagging a little bit. I feel like she wants to be that it girl still, you know, she wants to be known as the girl with the, with the body, but it just don't give that. You really have to do more in order to be a symbol of, you know, in this game. I'm just saying, y'all already know. Iggy Azalea has fell off so many times, it is just not even funny. But I just don't think that people are looking at her as that rap girl with talent and that has a body. They're just looking at you as a regular Instagram model. So just give that. That's all you really need to give at this point because I don't even think that you have the, um, the fans to even take your, you know, take it to the next level again. I just don't. Because you was hyped up at that time, just like Cardi was hyped up when they thought that you can beat Nicki Minaj. And once they realize that you can't, they're not going to put that much money behind you. Just saying, okay? Let's go ahead and move on to the next topic now. I want to talk about the baby. Now, I feel like this situation is very, very, very touching for me because I am from Charlotte, North Carolina. I do know the baby. The baby is a very, very cool guy. He puts on for the city. He shows love, all that. But I do want to say something. I feel like he is very misunderstood in regards to the situations that has been happening. Now, if y'all know what antagonizing someone is, then you know that he has been literally defending himself. There are people out here trying to take this man down and y'all don't even see it with y'all own eyes. But y'all only see it when Megan trying to do it to Tori. But y'all don't see it when, the, when, when other people are trying to do it to the baby. Now, I'm going to be fair. Some things he doesn't have to do. Every time, every response does not warrant you to put your hands on somebody or even reach in your pocket to pull out something to, hurt, to harm them. I'm just saying. That's just my opinion. But where we're from, okay, where we're from, fighting is just how we get down. We are known to just defend ourselves. That's just what it is. I'm pretty sure anybody that live in the Southeast, that's what they would say. That is just how we get down. You come for me, you're going to get done. I don't care how old you are. I don't care about none of that. But there are people that are being paid, allegedly, in Hollywood to literally run up on people and try to do things to them and antagonize them in order for them to hit them so that they can sue them. That is the thing in Hollywood, guys. I just want y'all to know. That's why he does not live in Hollywood. Hence to why Nicki Minaj does not like being at, out in public and doing things because people are weird. There are weird people out here, y'all, and I don't think that y'all get it. But you guys are not celebrities, so you won't understand. Neither am I. But I do know the baby, and I know that I don't think that he means to hurt anybody. I just think that he is just very defensive because of the lifestyle that he lived here in the city. Now, I know y'all tired of hearing me ramble, but I do want to hit y'all got to say in the comments, okay? Leave me a comment down below. What do y'all think about Nicki Minaj not attending the Met Gala or possibly attending the Met Gala? What do you think about Iggy Azalea clout chasing with her booty pics and all that? What y'all think about that? Also, listen, make sure y'all be respectful with the baby stuff because, listen, I already know it's very, very touchy for a lot of people, but I do want to know what y'all think about it. So make sure y'all leave y'all comments down below. Make sure you turn your notification bells on so you don't miss every single time me and Rallo goes live or when I just drop a video you know what i'm saying make sure y'all go over there and follow barb's basement make sure that y'all go and follow rella with the shady tea and also the sponsor spiritual shit make sure y'all go and follow spiritual shit she has an amazing youtube channel as well as a website where you guys can go and purchase your official lit wands go and get you some guys we are we have a promo code 22 percent off your spiritual wand i love y'all so much shady gang use that promo code shady friday love y'all bye i told him black lives matter i'm a riot oh Hey, you know the barbs only do top floor, top notch. That is why for the month of April, which is my birthday month, and the month of 420, we are going to celebrate every lit wine sold with 22% off. Oh, what? 
22% off of every lit wine purchase. Shady Gang, the reason why y'all over here with August and Rella is because y'all love exclusive content. Get you a lit wine, protect your nails, keep other people's fingers off of your shit. Elevate your intentional high. Shady Gang, 22% off. 422 is also Earth Day. What is the cannabis? It is the Earth. So we're going to celebrate it. <laughs> Love you, boo things.